Hey folks, uh, today I wanted to share with you a, a feature I added to my travel reimbursement system. Um, this is a system I've uh, built for a client that uh, lets, the, uh, lets the user fill out a form to create a travel reimbursement um, document. It's actually a spreadsheet. A little bit complicated, but let's see what it does. So first of all, we we have a, a list of reimbursements in a folder here. We actually we actually use um, an add-on called Document Studio, and Document Studio creates a sheet um, when uh, when the form is submitted and transfers the data that gets submitted on the form to the sheet. So let's take a look at this one. This is a sheet that um, is been created when Johnson filled out the form. And what we're collecting is the starting location and the destination location. And what we have here is a, a, a couple of app scripts that do some heavy lifting for us, one of which is a custom function we have a function, and, and I think I have a video on this, how to create a function called mileage, custom function, that then lets us um, go ahead and um, calculate the actual miles that were driven. And also then we have an approval, um, uh, an approval function in here, which, you know, would send a message to somebody. Um, in this case, I have it set up that it would send a message to um, a particular, uh, yeah, it, 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 it requests who you want to send the email to. We'll show how that works. So what happens is, um, and what we built today, when a form is submitted, and we have a form that looks like this. We have this travel reimbursement form. We're collecting this data. And the data, of course, gets collected here. The Document Studio add-on runs, creates this file here. But what, what we added today that's, that's uh, important, I think maybe I will do this again and drag this over here, um, is this approval column. And what it's doing is reading the, uh, the actual um, new document that gets created. So in this case, this, this uh, document called Target, I think I have that one right here. Notice that um, what happens is, let me, let me go ahead and let me unapprove this. And if I unapprove that, the approval goes away. And you'll notice in a moment, Target is still pending. So we've connected this sheet right here um, and what's happening actually in this cell right here, we are, um, if it's approved, then it shows up as approved here and not, if it's not approved, it's still pending. So what we can do is click the approval button and this is a script. I'm gonna ignore that email. And uh, now notice that tar target is approved. So the problem we were solving is connecting this new sheet that got created for this person, Tommy Target, um, you know, submitted a, a, some mileage and now it's been approved by the manager. And now back over here, it shows on the requests tab on the actual form response tab that it's been approved. And again, just to show that if I take away the approval and come back to here, that's going to go back to pending. So how did that work? Well, this is uh, an, um, this is a pretty big, uh, let me see if I can't expand us over here a little bit. So this is the formula that is doing this. So we, we're using an array literal to you put in our header for the approval. And then we're using the by row lambda uh, feature to, um, to go ahead and, oops, I want to get back in here. The by row lambda so that we can um, have this copied down every time a new row is added. That's one of the great features of the, the by row lambda function is that we can put it in this case on a 
um, form and it will copy down when a new um, uh, a new form response is added. So a couple of other things. This is just a by row lambda. We're assessing the data over here in AB. So AB3 to AB, we're assessing this data here. And the reason we're having to do that that way is if you take a look at this, um, Document Studio did not use the actual URL. That would be the URL of a document. It converted it to this drive.google.com slash open ID. And what we needed was the actual URL of the document, which you would see, uh, uh, you would see in this case, uh, well, you can't see it the way I've got this screen set up. Um, it, it, it had to be converted. And so that's what this other part, this regex, regex extract is doing using the Lambda. It's finding the ID here and concatenating it with the real URL that I need to make an import range. So I'm doing an import range. I'm combining the, the, this part of the, doc, of the URL with the ID that I'm extracting and just looking at cell E32. So if we take a look here, I'm just looking at whether or not this says approved. And it says approved if we go ahead and um, if we go ahead and, and do that, um, and then notice that that one is now approved. So it's a big long formula, um, but it's successful in getting the two sheets, each one of these sheets or all these different sheets, every time a form is submitted with Document Studio, a new sheet is created. And now we're getting the new sheets that are created to talk back to the actual reform, uh, response sheet so we can track on the response sheet whether or not things have been approved without having to do it manually. Hope that uh, is useful to some of you and thanks for watching.